Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great weekend, a great February. It is February 12th. It is a Saturday. We are just hanging out this morning. I am making the boys lunch. Usually on Saturdays, I make Grayson a grilled cheese sandwich, and I've got some fruit here with him, too. I tried giving Porter a grilled cheese sandwich um, last week just to see like what he would think of it and he did not care for it. So I usually just give him like deli meat or something if I give Gray a sandwich. The boys are in here watching a show. Here they are. They have the couch, but they prefer to sit on the ground. They like watching this like clay Play-Doh animation. It's really cool. They just make different things that start with different letters and just make different objects out of it. So the boys like to watch that. So that's what they're doing. Anthony and I have a busy day coming up. We are actually going on another date, which is like crazy because our last date was only like two weeks ago. Oh, I've got a sad porter. Are you hungry for lunch? So yeah, we are going on a date. We're actually gonna go look at another house today. Um, this house is about the same area as the last house we went and saw, but there's no pictures of this house. They only posted one picture of the outside. So we have no idea what the inside looks like. All we can know is like what the description tells us. So it sounds like they did a lot of updates to the inside of the house. I'm a little worried about the basement. I think it's not gonna be as nice as we want it to be. So I'm not feeling overly hopeful for this house, but we'll still go look and see. So my parents are gonna come over and watch the kiddos for us, which is super nice. And then they were like, well, if you're already gonna be out there, why don't you just go on a date? So we're gonna go. I really don't know what we're gonna do. The showing that we're gonna go to is at three. So it's like a really awkward time to go. And then like we'll do dinner, but dinner's not till like, what, six? So I don't know what we're gonna do, what, until like, from like four to six, I really don't know what we're gonna do. So we might go like walk around our downtown or maybe we'll like go to the mall and walk around. I don't know, there's really, it's hard cause it's winter. So it's not like, oh, we'll just go to a park. Like it's freezing outside and snowy and icy. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but I'll bring you guys along for that. It is Valentine, well, it's not, is it Valentine's Day weekend? It's the weekend before Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on a Monday. So I'm kind of worried about dinner just because I feel like all the restaurants are gonna be super busy with Valentine's Day people. I didn't make reservations anywhere. I, I don't like making reservations if I don't have to because I just don't like being held to a certain time to be at a place. So I think the plan is, is we'll just end up going to like, just not like, as nice of a place and then hopefully we can get in and sit somewhere so maybe we'll go to like a outback steakhouse or like a, like a red robin or something like that like something like not busy so um yeah we're just gonna do that we're basically just gonna stay out until the boys go to bed and then we'll come home <laughs> I just don't want to have to do bedtime if I don't have to. So we are going to do that today. Not very much planned. I don't really have to worry about Valentine's Day because I already got Anthony his gift. That's when we went to that concert. Sorry, I'm putting pans away because Porter likes to play with them. But we went to that Wombats concert, so that was my gift to him. And then I told Anthony all I really want for Valentine's Day is to just be able to sleep in one day have him get up with the kids and then I said get me donuts so um pretty easy I think so that's what I asked for but yeah we'll see how busy it is I feel like everyone's gonna be out because it's Valentine's Day weekend so hopefully we are able to sit somewhere I mean thankfully we're in Columbus so there's a lot of options like if one place is full or like on a long wait we'll just go to another place so hopefully this date will be better than the last one go back to a couple of vlogs ago and watch my vlog we had just like a disappointing date because I was sick and like so tired and then we had a bad experience at BJ so we will not be going there <laughs> um, so hopefully this date is better but um, yeah I'm excited to go see this house I don't think it's gonna be the one but maybe um, now that we're getting like more into the middle of February and closer to March and spring 
there's definitely a lot more houses coming on the market, so it's very exciting. Um, I definitely feel like our house is out there. Um, we've looked, I've, well, Anthony hasn't really been looking, but I've been looking and I've been seeing some really awesome houses that are just like not quite like where we want area wise, but the house is beautiful or like just slightly out of our budget. So I'm confident that eventually we will find the perfect house. So I'm super excited for that. But yeah, I always love looking at houses. So um, if we like it, maybe I'll record a little bit. Otherwise I'll just like record some of our date. So I just wanted to tell you about how our day went. So my parents came over to watch the kiddos. It was actually really nice because Porter was still napping. So we were able to leave before he woke up. It's always really hard to leave Porter when he's awake and he sees us go because he's very attached to me. And so he just is really, really sad if he sees us go. Usually if he's awake and we leave, like my parents have to distract him so he doesn't see us leave. It's really hard. Gray's just like, bye, I don't care. <laughs> so opposite. So anyway, we went and looked at this house. Um, I didn't take any clips of it because it's not, it's not the one. So I didn't take any clips, but it was a nice house. There were a lot of uh, pluses with it, but some of the minuses were no fireplace, which I just like the decoration of a fireplace. Two of the rooms on the main floor didn't have overhead lighting, which really bugs me because we have that in our house and I hate that. And the basement was really small. So we decided to pass and not go for it. It was actually a really hard decision because I feel a lot of anxiety with house hunting. Like I just want to pick a house and go with it. And I feel like I second guess myself a lot. But after thinking about it, talking with Anthony, we decided it's just not the one for us. But we're hopeful that more houses will come on the market. There's already a house that's not gonna come on for another like 12 days. So we are gonna go look at that one, but I'm hopeful that more houses will come on before then. So we'll be patient. I know the house is out. I know, I know our dream house is out there for us. So I'm excited to keep looking, but it just wasn't the house for us. So after that, we had a lot of time to kill because my parents were, the showing that we went to was at three and my parents were like, we'll just stay out and make it a date day, whatever. And so we were like, well, okay. So we finished the showing and then we were like, well, now what do we do? So we went to like our mall and walked around there. I hadn't been in the mall since I believe it was Black Friday. So it had been a while. And so we were walking around and the mall was busy. We didn't buy anything. I didn't really need anything. And one of the funniest things at the mall, they have this museum set up and it's a selfie museum. And literally people pay 20 bucks a person and they go to this museum and it's got tons of different rooms sectioned off and they're all different themes. And it's literally a place for people to go and take selfies in and then you can like post them on social media. It's crazy the world we live in right now. So like there was like a ball pit. They had ring lights everywhere. They had like one that was like washing machines. Tons of different patterns, tons of different themes. It was weird, but lots of like teenage girls were in there taking pictures. So obviously it's like worth it. They make money off of it. So anyway, after walking the mall for a little bit, we decided to go bowling. We have not been bowling since before the pandemic. So that was fun. We went, I took some clips. Anthony is a really good bowler. He used to bowl competitively when he was younger. He did it a lot with his parents. And so he's always been really good at bowling. I stink at bowling. I am lucky if I can even break a hundred. And Anthony gave me some 
pointers tonight and so I tried it out and I actually did really good. I broke 100 two out of three rounds that we did. I got quite a few strikes which is crazy for me. So yeah that was really fun. We had a good time. Anthony beat me every single time though which I'm not surprised about but I didn't realize how expensive bowling was. We did three rounds of bowling and we each had red shoes. Anthony has shoes and a bowling ball but we left it back at home and didn't want to stop back at home to pick them up so we just rented. It was over $50 almost $60 worth for bowling. I don't know I was I always remember bowling being cheap. Did it suddenly get expensive? Anthony said it was always expensive, and I was like, well, this is why we don't go bowling that often. It was expensive, but it was fun. We enjoyed it. I think Anthony enjoyed it more than I did because <laughs> he really likes bowling. So after that, we went to dinner, which I was worried about dinner because like I've been talking about, this weekend is Valentine's Day weekend. And so everybody is out this weekend going out to dinner that's in a relationship for Valentine's Day. And so I was like, are we even going to be able to find anywhere to go for Valentine's Day? So um, the first place we went to was Outback Steakhouse because we had a gift card there and when we walked in, there was a crowd of people waiting. We were like, this doesn't look good. And then we overheard the hostess say an hour to an hour and a half wait. And we were like, nope, not doing that. So <laughs> we have tons of gift cards. So I was like in our gift card like, oh, where should we go next? And so we were like, oh, let's try Bravo. We had a gift card to Bravo. So we went there and it was dead, but they said that without a reservation, they couldn't get us a table which was weird. They must have been really short staffed or something. But they said if we wanted to sit at the bar, they that that would be fine and it's a full service menu and we could just do that. Now, typically I hate sitting at the bar. If we go to a restaurant normally and they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have any tables, but you can sit at the bar. I'm usually like, no, I don't wanna sit at the bar and we go somewhere else. But knowing that this is Valentine's Day and we were gonna have to wait forever no matter where we went i was like you know what i'm just gonna bite the bullet this time and sit at the bar even though it's not my favorite just because we'll be guaranteed to get food and not have to wait over an hour so we ended up going to the bar and it was fine i i just don't like sitting at the bar it's not as romantic it's not as secluded it's awkward with the bar people there but it was fine and there was actually like no one at the bar. It was kind of weird. We kind of had it to ourselves, which was nice. And it, the bartenders kind of like kept their space from us. So it did feel like it was just Anthony and I together. So that was nice. The service was actually really, really good. They got our food out really fast. The one complaint we had with Bravo is they didn't have steak. If you watched my video a couple vlogs ago about when we had our last date night, we went to BJ's, they didn't have steak there. We go to Bravo, they don't have steak. Is everyone out of steak? I didn't even know that was a shortage, but apparently it is. So Anthony wants steak, didn't get it, so we got pasta instead. But it, it was really good. We really liked the, the meals that we got. So that was good and then after that we went and got ice cream i love ice cream anthony's mad about it but i love ice cream we had a gift card there so we went and did that and then we went to walmart and i wanted to get the boys gifts for valentine's day i've been really struggling on like what i should get them and so we just decided to get them like little gifts so i'll show you guys what we got them we got them this huge bouncy ball. We figured they'll love to throw it down the stairs. Porter loves throwing things down the stairs and they both love balls and bouncing balls. We don't have one this big. So I think they're gonna love it. For Grayson, we got him this Crayola color thing. Um, and it's basically like one of those color wonder things where the markers only color on the paper. Um, I guess it's over 50 sheets. It was on clearance. So that's why we got it. It was $9, normally 15. So I think he's really gonna like this. And Porter loves these two, although he do really just likes to eat the markers. And then for Porter, I don't know where it is. It might still be in my trunk. I need to go look for it. We got him like this little bouncy ball where you turn on and it just shakes. So we'll see if he likes it or not. Um, we're just trying to find something cheap, but that's what we did. And then we went home and relieved my parents. So. 
that is the end of our date. Um, we are just gonna keep searching for a house, but I'm glad we were able to get out and have a little date day. So fun when that happens. And my parents said the boys were good, which is always nice to hear. But um, I'm just gonna close out this vlog. My camera's about to die. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.